Today I want to invite you on a road trip across Italia. What we're going to do is drive from here in Piemonte all the way across the north of Italy to completely the other side. An American real estate company contacted me and they said, can you help us promote and find a buyer for a hotel that we have for sale in North Italy? And I guessed it was maybe in Asti or Alba or may maybe in Torino, but they said, it's in Udine. And Udine is completely the other side of the country. And I thought, well, it's way outside of my area. But then I thought, well, why not? It's a nice opportunity to take a road trip. So what we're going to do is pack the car up and leave first thing tomorrow morning. It's the 1st of May. We're leaving at six o'clock in the morning, where well, that's what we hope for. Have breakfast on Lake Garda in Desenzano, and then pass all these beautiful and wonderful cities, even Venice, to arrive in Udine. The hotel is just about 20 minutes south of the city. And so we're going to visit Udine first and then show you the hotel. So we're going to pack up the car. She's an 18 year old Alfa Romeo Brera and uh, she's just had lots of work done on her, fixed lots of things, so hopefully she'll be reliable and she'll get us all across the 500 kilometers or so to Udine. So pack your bags with us. I hope you enjoy the journey. So here we are at the hotel and I've got to tell you, it really is fabulous. It's been restored to absolute perfection. It's owned by a brother and sister, in fact, and they inherited the house and they restored it over eight years. They did it slowly and slowly came up with the idea of B&B. &B. Has a swimming pool, has a beautiful restaurant, which is sitting here having breakfast now. The rooms are fantastic, but I'll tell you more about that uh, in a moment. But um, we arrived uh, yesterday afternoon and we went into Udine, which is a lovely city, just less than half an hour from here. 
and today as well we plan to visit Trieste which is a bit less than an hour from here which we keep on hearing is a fantastic city that we've never been to so we look forward to showing you that as well it's a wonderful opportunity because it really is a beautiful place so let's take a closer look at the business uh, we can see some of the essential facts here And here's a photograph of the property. Everything is in beautiful condition. We can see it's surrounded by vineyards and uh, agricultural areas. And the road here is a, a, a dead end road. So there's no real passing traffic, just local traffic. And it has this big gravel car park. So there's ample space for if you do events here. Here we have the swimming pool area. There are two pools, one for children, one for adults, and here's the specification of the pools. There are 20 deck chairs, 15 umbrellas with LED lights, two lounge areas, uh, nine wooden tables and benches. There's a DJ desk there you can see in the corner. It can be used as a DJ desk or a bar, an outside bar. External LED lights around the property and there are fruit trees and flower beds or ornate flowers. And here we see the front of the property and uh, we can see those uh, photovoltaic panels, uh, 12 kilowatts. And actually the energy rating of the property of the heating systems is triple A. So this costs the minimum to run because it's been restored and built very, very well. There's the irrigation pump from the canal here to irrigate the, the land. And you can see it's a beautiful area. You've got uh, UNESCO towns within a very short distance, Palma Nova, for example, and the Alps are nearby as well there, you can see. Also the local town, which you can see here, is listed as one of the most beautiful uh, villages in Italy. And we met the local people and they were very nice and friendly and helpful. And here we enter the restaurant and there's seating in here for 40 people. And this provides a very good income. And it's a beautiful, comfortable place, polished uh, concrete floors and this beautiful sandstone uh, brick, leather armchairs. Very beautiful. We really enjoyed having our breakfast here every morning. And then we come to the kitchen and this is a proper industrial professional kitchen and everything is in perfect condition. You can have events here, uh, weddings for example, there's ample space to do that. We were here right at the beginning of the season so the weather not so nice and the umbrellas and chairs not out yet but use your imagination i'm sure you can see it's a really beautiful place and then we have these gazebos all joined together and there's uh, 125 square meters of space here and this is next to this uh, beautiful bar fully equipped bar coffee machines and the freezers and fridges and uh, everything else you would need to run a bar And again, all beautifully made with wood paneling and LED lights, all very tastefully done. And here's the restaurant again. Behind me is the entrance to the restaurant. This is, uh, and then that wooden door there is to lead to the uh, public bathrooms. Now, if we go upstairs, we see the three bed and breakfast rooms. Here's the, the middle room. And again, beautifully done with oak floors, the sandstone brickwork and the, uh, the, the wood, wood uh, beam ceilings. 
The bed's extremely comfortable, really beautiful. We, we didn't want to leave. Here's the second of the smaller rooms. And obviously each room has a bathroom with a toilet, bidet and shower and cupboard space. Each room has a TV, coffee machine. All LED lighting, so very cheap to run. The windows incidentally are triple glazed with oak inside and aluminium outside. So they're built to last and again, very, very good for the economics of running the property. Here's the bigger of the rooms. Uh, you can probably see this is the one we stayed in and it has a beautiful bathroom and uh, also has a sofa bed as well. So you could sleep four in here, no problem at all. Then we come down the corridor that links all of these rooms and at the end we come to this beautiful covered terrace. And this is a perfect place for your guests to just relax, to read a book, to maybe work. If they're working remotely, to sit here on the table and chairs and enjoy this beautiful view of the vineyards and the land around. Very peaceful place. And again, all in perfect condition. Now we come to the apartment and this is currently used by the owner but could also be rented. And this is a beautiful space. Again, oak floors. It has this little terrace on the side here. You can just see it. Beautiful kitchen and uh, living space here. The same quality windows, light fittings. And then through this space, we can see the doorway there. And that leads us to um, what in effect are two bedrooms and the bathroom. Currently, the first bedroom is used as a cupboard space. We can see it has these big wardrobes, but these could be removed and you could use that as a bedroom. And then next to this is the bedroom. Again, big space. I love that he has the projector TV there. And um, again, the oak floors are right through the property and oak windows as well. And this beautiful bathroom that has shower, hydro massage tub, uh, the twin basins. And again, beautifully lit with LED lights, but also lots of natural light as well. A really beautiful space and done with real taste. So what did you think? It's a beautiful property, isn't it? And just over to my right here is land owned by the owners and another building can be built on here. So you could add another 200 square meters. You could add another four rooms for rental here. There's all the potential to do that. So you've already got a, a vibrant business, but also there's room for expansion. So it's really worth a look. If you're looking to invest around 2 million euros, this might be the best you can find because it really is a beautiful place. So thank you so much for watching. As usual, if you need more details, we have everything, all of the accounts and uh, all of the records, the restoration projects, everything that's been done, we have that all. And so we're happy to discuss that with you if you need more information and you're serious about starting a new life in Italy or just investing. Why not? See you in the next one.
so we made it to Trieste, the furthest east we've ever been in Italy. And it's, it's quite an amazing city. It's bigger than we expected. Um, quite a lot of tourists here, especially a lot of Eastern Europeans. We're here more Polish than Italian. Um, but um, everyone's friendly here and it's a nice atmosphere. It's, it's pouring down with rain, but it's what you can expect on the 2nd of May, I guess. But uh, a really nice, easy drive down from Udine and uh, tomorrow we're finishing up at the hotel and then we'll be heading back to Lake uh, Garda but uh, here we'll just stop for lunch in this, this restaurant and uh, the lady's a very very good saleswoman she should work in real estate because she be, should be a wealthy woman because uh, you start off by ordering pasta and before you know it you've bought the whole restaurant which is good for her Okay so there's plenty we didn't know about Trieste but what we didn't know is that it's all hills. It's a bit like Genova. Lots and lots of hills. So over my shoulder there, you can see the city that we just walked up from. 